Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you for joining us again today. This is the Heart of David International Ministries. I'm your pastor, Dr. Mark Dean. Thank you for joining us. This is Tuesday evening, corporate prayer. Hallelujah. The church needs to come together and just pray. Hallelujah. Prayer that moves mountain. You must believe in your prayer. You must have power in your prayer <coughs> to move mountains. Let me go ahead and pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you right now and we just say thank you, Lord. We praise you, we honor you, and we magnify you. In the blessed name of Jesus, hallelujah. We pray that you bless this corporate prayer, Father God that somebody get healed, somebody get saved, and somebody get delivered. Save that marriage, Father God. Save that home. Heal the sick, Father God. Eradicate cancer and lupus, Father God. In the name of Jesus, eradicate every illness. Eradicate COVID-19. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus right now. Let this word go forth with power, Lord, power to deliver from whatever they need to be delivered from. In the name of Jesus, thank you for the power of prayer, the power of prayer for healing, the power of prayer for deliverance, the power of prayer for strength, the power of prayer for understanding, the power of prayer for wisdom, the power of prayer for knowledge. Hallelujah. The power of prayer for understanding. Glory to God. The power of prayer that miracles will be done, Father God, in the name of Jesus. The power of prayer that there be signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you right now for believing in your word in the name of Jesus. Give us childlike faith in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, and amen. My subject right now. It's just believe God. We got to believe God in the good times and in the bad times. We got to believe God. When we hear a bad report, we got to keep a hold on the God. Hallelujah. We got to know that God is our strength. We got to know that we've done all that God has told us to do. We've done our best to be obedient to God. We've done our best to be obedient to his word, his will, and his way. Hallelujah. Now, we got to hold on to believing God, even when the devil is trying to, to scare you. Hallelujah. The subject today is believe. Believe God. Hallelujah. Believe God. No matter what's coming on, if God told you to do that, hallelujah, I mean, you know beyond. Who your own reasoning, you go do that. Hallelujah. If you have spent time in prayer, you have spent time in seeking the Lord. Hey, glory to God. You have been time, you have spent time in communing with God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> go do what God told you to do. And more importantly, you got to believe God. We're going to focus our prayer today on just believing God. Believe God. And there's too many people in the church that don't believe God. There's too many people in the church that don't know how to activate the word of God. And there's too many people in the church that, doesn't, that do not step out in faith in God. Now, sometimes, don't get me wrong, I know we'll step out in faith and God ain't told us to do it. But when you step out in faith and you know God, hallelujah, you know the Lord Jesus Christ has told you to do it. Hallelujah. I mean, you know God has told you to do it. <clears throat> so now, we got to believe God when we have a bad report. You know God told you. Hallelujah. I'll use me for instance. God told me new beginnings and new location. 
Hallelujah. Now the devil's coming, trying to get warfare, trying to make me doubt <clears throat> what God has told me. Hallelujah. Trying to bring fear to me. If you allow fear to overtake you, that means you don't have the faith in God like you said you did. And if fear overtake you, you shouldn't be dwelling in it. You need to step back and say, well, wait a minute. I believe God. I believe God because I've already seen him deliver me out of things in my life that I didn't think I was going to be delivered from. You have to believe God. Hallelujah. When a lot of people don't even see it because God didn't show them. He showed you. God will confirm your anointing and your calling. Hallelujah. Through other people. And sometimes, a lot of times, through people you don't even know. Hey, glory to God. We have to believe God. And believing God is having the faith in God. It's having to believe in God and trusting in God. I said belief and faith were twins, identical twins. But now I got to say we have identical triplets. You got faith in God. You believe in God. And now you got to trust God because how can you trust God? If you say you trust God, but you have no faith, how can you trust God and you don't believe? Mm, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to read this scripture right here. And then we're going to go ahead and pray. Remember, we won't be before you long. This is corporate prayer. I'm going to keep it under 20 minutes. Hallelujah. Because uh, the first week of December, I want to start uh, teaching and studying in the book of Deuteronomy. Hallelujah. So let's go to Proverbs chapter 9. And go to verse 10. Hallelujah. It says, and they that know thy name will put their trust in, will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. So now he said, and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. They that know the name of Jesus. We put our trust in in thee. We put our trust in you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to your mighty name. Thank you, Lord. So it says, and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. For the Lord has not forsaken them that seek the Lord. The Lord will not forsake you <coughs> if you continue to seek him. Hallelujah. Come here, Christian. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Fill that up for me. Fill it up for me halfway. All right. So if you have trust in thee, trust in thee, trust in the Lord, trust in God, trust in the Holy Ghost. Hey, glory to your name. God will not forsake you because we put our trust in him. We put our trust in him when we don't see nothing, we don't feel nothing, we don't understand nothing. And when we do feel something, when fear is trying to overtake us, hey, the trust that we have in God and the belief that we have in God and the faith that we have in Christ Jesus, that's what helps us. That is what helps us overcome the fear that the devil is doing. The fear that the devil will tell you it ain't going to happen. I'm going to make sure. Look what happened. Thank you, sir. Look what happened. Look what I did. 
Look who's coming against you. There's no way you can fight them. <clears throat> There's no way you can go up against them. The devil's telling you I won, and the devil is a lie. Hallelujah. The devil's telling you to give up, but how are you going to give up? Hallelujah. And you have the faith in God. You believe in God, and you trust in God. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Glory to your mighty name. So let me read this again, and we're going to go in <clears throat> to our prayer. And our prayer is, we just want to believe God. Hallelujah. Let's read uh, Psalm chapter 9, verse 10 again. And they that know thy name will put, put their trust in thee. And they will know, and they that know thy name, who's the name? Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. Will put their trust in thee. So they that know the name of Jesus, we put our trust in Jesus. Hallelujah. We put our trust in Jesus in the largest matters. We put our trust in Jesus in the smallest matters. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. So I'm going to read this again, and we I believe we're going to go ahead and pray after this. We got about nine minutes. I'm going to try to stay under the 20-minute mark. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's read verse 11. Sing praises to the Lord which dwelleth in Zion. Declare among the people is doing. Now is our job declare um, declare among the people his doing. What is his doing? His doing is love. His doing is mercy. His doing is grace. His in his doing is is love and and and, and faithfulness and strength. Hallelujah. His doing is holiness and his doing is righteousness. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Mm. Let's read verse 7 in chapter 9. Psalm chapter 9, verse 7. <clears throat> but the Lord shall endure forever. He that prepared his throne for judgment. Let's read that again. But the Lord shall endure forever. He has prepared his throne for judgment. <clears throat> but the Lord shall endure forever. And that's what we got to understand. Hallelujah. The Lord shall endure forever. Okay. The Lord shall endure forever. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. The Lord shall endure forever. And we got to understand that because heaven and earth will pass away before his word will. Hallelujah. I said, heaven and earth will pass away, but his word, I said, his word will never pass away. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Glory to your mighty name. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and read Matthew chapter 24, verse 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But my words shall not pass away. When he's talking about my words shall not pass away, remember Jesus is the word. Hey, and the word was God and the word was with God. Heaven and earth will pass away, but his word will never pass away. Why? Because his word is his word and his word is Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Okay, we only got about six more minutes. We're going to go ahead and we just going to pray and thank God for giving us the strength, the mind, the heart, the spirit, the faith, the belief, the will, and the trust that we believe God. Hallelujah. No matter what's going on, we believe God. We thank you for working it out right now. And let's pray in the name of Jesus. 
Father God, we thank you right now for working everything out in our life, Father God. Hallelujah. Thank you for doing the impossible. <clears throat> thank you for doing not the impossible. Father God, it may be impossible to us, but nothing is impossible to you. You made the winds and the waves, Lord. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus that we believe, Lord, and that our faith can move mountains, and that we believe, Lord, that our belief and our faith and our trust in you, that we can do signs and wonders, that we can do miracles, that we can do all that you have called us to do in the body of Christ, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Now we bind every spirit of fear. We bind every hindering spirit, every, every lying spirit. We bind the spirit of jealousy. We bind the spirit of envy and strife. We bind every lying spirit, every spirit of perversion. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of wickedness, every spirit of sin and abomination. In the name of Jesus, we bind these mind snatching demons in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you and we praise you today. Hallelujah, we honor you today. Lord, let us walk in our anointing wherever we go, Father. Whether it's on the job, at the airport, in a taxi, Father God. In a board meeting, hallelujah, if we coaching and if we playing a sport, Father God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Father God, thank you for putting it in our heart and our spirit to believe you, Father God. We believe you and we believe your word. We believe and know that you're going to do signs, wonders, and miracles in my life, in our life, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. My Father God, I pray for the heart of David International Ministry, Lord. I pray for the set leadership that you put in the house, Lord. I pray, Lord, that we will always seek your face, Lord, that we will hunger and thirst after righteousness, Father God. Hallelujah. Thank you for bringing in the finances so we can complete our vision in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you for healing right now. Hallelujah, when the devils give up, hallelujah, when the devils think they have and the doctors give up on them, Lord, thank you for stepping in, in the name of Jesus, turn everything around, in Jesus' mighty name, turn it around right now, Father God, hallelujah, even if they're cutting somebody open right now, and somebody's getting ready to do surgery, Father God, let them witness with their own eyes the miracles of Christ Jesus before they even touch the person. Hallelujah. When they go in there, before they got to cut something out or sew something up, Father God, let the anointing be there and do it itself, Father God, that they can be a witness, Lord, whether they are saved or unsaved, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Father. Now, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, everything that's going on in our life, we ask that you fix it, Father God. Hallelujah. We bind jealousy, envy, and strife in the name of Jesus. Lord, we believe you, and we know you're going to work everything out for us in the name of Jesus. We give you glory. We give you praise, and we give you all of the honor, Lord. We thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you for our right mind, Father God. We thank you for natural and spiritual eyesight. We thank you for natural and spiritual hearing. In the name of Jesus, Lord, order our steps in your will and in your way. Hallelujah. Order our steps, Father God. Hallelujah. So we can see your glory, Father God. So we can be anointed to do your will in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. 
Listen to me, saints. We have to believe God. I'm talking about believe God. Even when you got a bad report from the doctor, you got a bad report from the dentist, you got a bad report, hallelujah, from the judge. God is turning it around that you will not have a bad report. In the spirit, you will not have one. You will not have one in the natural. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you for protecting our home. Thank you for protecting our children. We can't be with them all the time. Hallelujah. Thank you that you got your angels surrounding them. Lord, we want to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we want to be that bright light among the lights. We want to be that light in the midst of darkness. Father God, we want the Holy Ghost on the inside of us, Father God, that demons must flee. We want demons and devils uncomfortable around us because they feel the anointing on us, because they see the anointing on us, and they know that God is working in us and through us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we walk in a room, Lord, mm, hallelujah, let there be a revival in the spirit. Hallelujah. When we walk wherever in the break room or in the office, in the bathroom, Father God, at a football game or a basketball game. Hallelujah. At a family reunion, Lord, let the anointing flow, Father God, to bind every devil and every demon. Hallelujah. That try to hinder the anointing. We bind you up and we cast you out in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. We bind death right now in the name of Jesus. You'll not take anybody before their time. Hallelujah. And I don't care whatever. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus come against you. Hallelujah. I said the blood of Jesus come against you. Father God, we thank you right now. And we honor you and we bless you in the blessed mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Father God. Hallelujah. Saints, we have to believe God. We have to believe God. If heaven and earth will pass away, but his word will never pass away. Why won't you believe in his word? Because his word will never pass away. Hallelujah. His word has stood the test of time through all other uh, uh, fads or religions. Christ Jesus, the word of God, has stood the test of time. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. And I tell you, mm, hey, Jesus, the real and only Messiah, he is the only one who got up from the grave. He is the only one mm, who took the 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 uh, 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 the keys of hell from the devil. Hallelujah. Mm, glory to your name. Jesus Christ is the only one who died for the world. Yeah, even you that don't believe in God, he still died for you. You still have a chance to come back for Christ. You're sitting up here saying, well, God didn't answer my prayer. And if he would have answered my prayer, I would have believed him. But God may have already been calling you for the last five years, 10 years, 20 years. Hallelujah. And you did not listen. Hallelujah. So if you're not listening, not that God can't do it, but why? You're calling on God when you don't have nothing else to do, which is good. But you should have been calling on God when God was speaking to you. God is a merciful God, and he loves you, and he'll forgive all of your sins. He said, come to me, all you. He said, everybody come to me. He said, I want you. I died for each and every person on this earth that was born before you, during you, and after you. I died for every soul that is born on the earth. Even the souls that are aborted, mm. glory to your name. Even the souls mm. 
Woo! Glory to God. That never turns from sin and are in him. God said, I died for you. I sent my son to you. And you chose not to receive my son as your Lord and your Savior. You can't get to God if you don't go through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus is the one who came from heaven to earth, who took all the sins away, who is sitting on the right hand of the Father. So why do you think you don't have to go through Christ Jesus to get to the Father? Hallelujah. It's just like corporate America. You just can't go up there and talk to the CEO or the founder. You got protocol. And your protocol before you get to heaven is to receive Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. You believe that he died on the cross for you and that he rose on the third day. Hallelujah. Mm. You better believe in the word of God, especially today. You got people, hallelujah, they so scared of COVID, they paranoid, hallelujah. Mm -mm. They paranoid, they, they so frightened, and the sad thing about it, some of them are in church. But if Jesus is your doctor in the sick room, mm. he's your lawyer in the courtroom. Hallelujah. He's your surgeon in the operating room. Hallelujah. Hey, you ask God to give you spiritual brain surgery and spiritual heart surgery. Hey, glory to your name. That's what you need to do. I'm over now. Hallelujah. I'm going to try to keep it under 20 minutes, but believe God. That's what I want you to know. Believe God. Lord, if my faith is shaken, I'm praying that my faith don't be shaken. If, I'm, if my belief is shaken, I'm praying that I, I, I believe that my belief don't get shaken. No matter what I hear and what I see, I got to know that Jesus Christ is fighting for me. Mm. Lord, because right now I can't fight on my own. I don't have the right strategy to fight on my own. Even if I tried to fight on my own, it's a bad strategy to fight on my own. I'm talking about spiritually here. Hallelujah. You can fight on your own without getting the counsel of God. Hallelujah. Mm. it'll be a bad strategy. Glory to God. But if you come to Christ Jesus and you seek Christ Jesus, hallelujah, what does he tell you? Hallelujah. Because we don't want to judge with natural eyes. And we don't want to judge with natural ears. Hallelujah. This is a scripture that we need to meditate on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm praying. Hey, and it says uh, Isaiah 11 and 2. And the spirit of the Lord rests upon him. The spirit of wisdom. The spirit of understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge. And of the fear of the Lord. You want the fear of the Lord. Because if you don't have the fear of the Lord. You can't have the rest of these. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want the spirit of the Lord to rest upon me. The spirit of wisdom and might. The spirit of counsel. The spirit of understanding. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Let me read it one more time and we're about to go. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. I want the spirit of the Lord to rest upon me. The spirit of wisdom, I want it. And understanding, I want it. The spirit of counsel and might, I want that. Mm. The spirit of knowledge, I want that. And of the fear of the Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Verse 3 said that he shall make him a quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, 
neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. I'm going to end this out in prayer, but remember we have a prayer service tomorrow and that is at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And we, it, that's 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I know it's a little bit late for the East Coast, but I decided to keep my times the way that they are. I know I'm on East Coast time now because of where I live, but I think it's better for me just to keep this time right here. Hallelujah. You can tell me it's late if you want to. I got to be to work at 5 a.m. So, hey, glory to God. Glory to God. God is good. Mm, hallelujah. Let me pray. Father God, we thank you. We praise you. We honor you and we magnify you. Lord, now we ask that you penetrate our hearts, our eyes, and our ears, and our spirit, Father, that we can do thus said the Lord, that the seven spirits of the Lord can rest upon us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Remember, if you want to contact me, contact me at H-O-D-I-M 1117 at gmail.com. You can contact me for questions, comments, or prayer. We believe in prayer. We will pray for you. There's power in prayer. We have a website at HODIM.org. We also have a Facebook page and a YouTube page, and that is the Heart of David International Ministry. You'll see my picture there. I believe it's a picture of me and my boys. But remember, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Hey, glory to your name. If you would like to leave a love offering, you go to HODIM.org. Hallelujah. Let the Lord lead you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 6 uh, p.m. Pacific time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be strong in the Lord. Hey, glory. And in the power of his might. You have a nice evening. Witness to somebody. Give somebody your testimony. Pray for somebody. Pray with somebody. In the name of Jesus, read your word, study your word, apply the word to your life. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Have a nice